<laughs> oh, is that me that left that like warm spot? I don't know. We love that. There's two people. Hi, people. We're drinking tea. Oh, I'm sorry. Do you need some water? Oh, 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 oh no. no. Oh, God. Oh, no. <laughs> Cat eruptions. Welcome, guys. Um, we're gonna have some cat we're gonna, disturbances. Yeah, we're gonna have some cat disturbances, but that's that's okay. The last time we sure. did this was in 2020. Mm -hmm. This is William. You can't really see him, but you can see some of his fuzz. William, you and your big paws. Oh, oh. Hi. Very good now. Hi. Everyone can see your bunghole. <laughs> Not really, actually, your, your, your little hey, yeah. belly belly. Uh, I have a great time hanging out with both you queens. Not boring at all. Love the random combos. Haha, <laughs> even toilet humor. Yeah, I, I posted about this. That, oh, actually, I talked about it in stream and then it came up on my Instagram uh, thing, feed. And I would say like maybe 80% of the people I know don't do this. They don't close the lid on their toilet after they're done using it. What's that movie with Leonardo DiCaprio? Wolf of Wall wolf Street. Wolf of Wall Street. You're going to be the Wolf of Wall Street. I know that, but I've never seen it. Never seen it? No, I've never seen it. I mean, I've never seen most movies. Okay. Like, if you ask me if I've seen a movie, I probably haven't seen it. Star Wars? Which one? The originals? Maybe. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe when I was Maybe. younger, but not, not any time in recent memory. Okay. Um, also, you know I have a stunning memory, so. Yeah, it's stunning. Stunning. Um, uh, Back to the Future. No. You've never seen Back to the Future? Whoa, this is heavy. Oh, but you've seen My Neighbor Totoro. Yes. <laughs> that's not a, a movie that everybody has seen. Like, I feel like that's more niche. Perhaps. Labyrinth. Yes. Labyrinth you've yes. seen. Okay. Israel's saying The Thing. Okay, I've never seen The Thing. You just have to understand this context of me being a kid was that I just didn't watch movies. Mm. I, I didn't have an attention span for that, apparently. Yeah. Yeah. So no Indiana Jones, Trav is asking? I have seen Indiana Jones. Okay. I feel like everybody in our age group would have either seen Back to the Future, your Indiana Jones, your E, well, E.T. I don't think I've sat through all of E.T. I don't think I have either. What about Jurassic Park? Oh yes, I've okay. seen all of Jurassic Park. Jurassic Park, times. come on. Jaws? Yes. Okay. I've never seen Jaws. I've seen a lot of horror movies. Oh. So Texas Chainsaw Massacre? Okay, no. Okay, I only just saw that this year. Because, okay, oh. I don't like gore for the sake of gore. Ah! So, <laughs> um, after my own heart. That's exactly right. So, at the, the first I time I, I didn't see the old Texas Chainsaw Massacre, so the first time I saw it was like the early 2000s version. Huh? Was there one like in the 2000s, a Texas Chainsaw Mash? Trav would know. Trav says horror speaking my language. He's, that's his thing. Yeah, so I saw the first part of that and it came to a part where a guy was like hung on a meat hook and his legs were cut off and they were like throwing salt at it or something. And I was like, I'm done. See, that's the way I feel about the clown movie. Yeah, Terrorizer? Yes. Yeah. They had a woman on a meat hook and she I just don't like, do gore no. for gore's sake. I don't want to see that. I think it's it's just give I don't me do it. Psychological yeah. Psych, yeah. psychological horror. Give me body horror. I like ones it things where things are kind of fucked up. Um the one with Jessica Beale. I don't know. Mm. <laughs> Maybe Does the Hills have ah uh, no, not Hills have eyes. Never mind, never mind. I don't know what I'm talking about. Ever seen it? The original. I'm assuming they're talking about. Yes. Okay, I've never seen the original. Oh. And the new ones. You've seen the new ones with that creepy dude? The creepy scars guard? The creepy scars guard. Yeah. Heller Quinn was asking on Spit in Your Eye, do you remember? It wasn't the first one. Because we had rented, I think, all the first five. I don't know why I remember this. We rented the first five. We and I think we had watched because we had a really long drive to get to our first uh show. And I at the time I only liked the first one and then I stopped watching the rest for some reason. I don't know. Mm. I haven't seen the new Hellraiser. I heard kinda yeah. Hey, did you guys know, you folks, sorry, I'm working on that, um, that there is a movie coming out called Cocaine Bear? Yes! What the fuck? And it's based on a true story. Am I allowed to swear on Yeah, you? yeah, go for it. Okay, sorry. Yeah, no, no. It's, it's based, based on, on a true story. story. That's what makes it funnier. Oh, a bear cocaine. <laughs> I think he got into a stash and just went like, who had a stash that fucking big? <laughs> He went full like Scarface and just that's um um I didn't believe when my friend told me about this. Yeah, I was like, no, you're lying to me. This isn't real. And I saw the trailer and I still said this isn't real. You're like, but yeah, he wasn't lying. Yeah, I only count the remake. Uh, it even the original actors hated the original. 
Okay, I'll trust you on that one. Alder says, what about brain damage with a parasite that looked like a turd? <laughs> we watched that on my Discord, okay, no, and it that. is the funniest fucking movie I've ever seen in my life. Like, really, I don't even know if they were trying to be funny, but it was funny. It was called Brain Damage? Brain Damage. It's not but funny. But it didn't even, didn't even look like a turd. It looked like a penis. It was, it was... It what, was like, what, there was supposed to be a turd? It didn't, it, it looked... I'm so confused. Like a, a dick. That's what it looked like. No, and but what was it supposed to be? I don't know, an alien. Hi. That okay. inhabits this guy's brain and makes his brain damaged as a result. I think it was like a metaphor for like guys that have nothing but that on their brain. You know what I'm saying? Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. No, well, sounds terrible. Yes, it was, it, was, it was terrible. Terrible, but great. Halloween. Uh, Melody's asking, what's your favorite horror movie? Halloween. Have I seen Halloween? Is that the one with the mask? It's Michael Myers. They both have masks, I guess. Yes. Jason is the one in, in the in the Camp Crystal Camp. Lake. Okay. See, she knows her shit. Um, Trap says, yeah, Hellraiser 1 to 3 were cool. Then it's like Pinhead in uh, Space, Pinhead in the Internet. <laughs> Clitendo, welcome. Pinhead goes to the zoo. Yeah. <laughs> Don says, and it was Ray Liotta's last role before he died. Cocaine Bear? Really? Ray Liotta died? Yeah, he did. Where have I been? Yeah, he did. Morris says, no, dude, it, seriously, look it up. Look it up. Look up brain damage. It's a mm. turd. It's a turd looking, a, a penis shaped thing. It's very weird. Hi. Melody says, do you like the Rob Zombie rendition of Hell? I do. Yeah. I know he doesn't like them, but uh, I do like them. I didn't even know he did that. Yeah. When did you do that? Two thousands? Yeah. Around yeah. the time you did House of a Thousand, whatever. I think just after that. Mm. Just after that, maybe. Between. No. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. No, he did two of them. He did that. He did one. He like redid Halloween, and then I guess he had a contract to redo the second one, mm -hmm. and he didn't want to do the second one, but he had to. So I don't think he liked that one, but I, I did like them. Mm. I don't know. I just love Halloween. Nice. Except for that one weird one that isn't actually a Halloween movie. The third one. What was the one where, uh, uh does, was that the one in New York? Or am I thinking of Jason? Yeah, I think you're thinking of, like, Jason or Chucky. <laughs> <laughs> Chucky does New York. Oh, Jesus. Um, yeah, exactly. What a way to bow out, he says. Uh, Ober Osboronis. Welcome. I hope you're well. Thanks for coming. I'm well. Thank you for asking. I hope you're well. Excuse me. Oh, my God. 2007, 2009, I love you, Rob but too gory for me. Those kills were insane. I mean, those did not hit my gore for the sake of gore radar, or else I've just become desensitized to Halloween because <laughs> I've seen it so many times. Yeah, I think one that's of probably it. John says, I I've only seen one of those Rob Zombie movies, can't remember which, and was like, wow, this sucks. It's probably the second one because it's not nearly as good as the first one. Uh, Dante says, the worst thing is when they make the haunted houses a, ha a Halloween Horror Nights based on horror movies. Or clowns, when they make them based on clowns. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. That's the worst thing you could ever do. Oh, it's look at Trap coming in. Clutch. Oh, Jason takes <laughs> That's it. It was Jason. Yeah, okay. Um, but anyway, yeah, that, I think Halloween is my, not Halloween, sorry. Hellraiser is my favorite. The first one. Well, we should watch. We should watch the new one while you're here. Then with the with the with the female pinhead. The female pinhead. It's a female pinhead. Okay. Yeah. Cool. Oh yeah, I'll watch it. Oh yeah. Have you seen Killer Clowns from Outer Space? No. Morris says, anyone seen Jason Ten? I heard the or Jason X. Sorry. I think so. I heard the space one is epic. I'm so sorry. I didn't realize that it's actually a trans woman pinhead in the new Hellraiser. I didn't know. I didn't know either. John says, I really don't watch movies like that ever unless someone else is watching them. Oh. I don't know. It like really depends. Like I won't go out of my way. If it's a body horror movie, then I will go out of my way to watch it and find it. And like, then yeah. So like a Cronenberg film, I will oh, go out of my way yes, to watch. A Cronenberg. There's a new one. With the, uh, well, his, sorry, his son, Brandon, has one coming out with Alexander Skarsgård. That's the, that, what's that called? Like future crimes? Some future, I don't know. The future crimes? I know that's because David talks about it. Yeah. I think it's called future crimes. Yeah. It looks terrible. Oh, like terrible bad? No, like, like gore for gore. Oh, really? Yeah. Because I think the premise is that people can't feel pain oh. anymore. So like, can imagine like what people will do with a shock value when you can't feel pain anymore. Oh, so is crimes of the future. Ah, Trav. Okay. Trav is so on it. Uh, well, I guess that kind of makes sense. Then it so, like, being like over yeah. the top. Like, and, the, and the reason why people were walking out of the theater. 
because it was just like too gory. Yeah. But then again, I, I've talked about this film before that I watched that I thought would really bother me um, because I have like a thing with throat things. Like I don't like. Oh, yeah, I don't like that either. Um, this she this woman was obsessed with. Uh, she had pica, so she ate pins and like Ew. glass and stuff, and she couldn't like stop herself. Um, really great. I didn't think I'd like it, but I loved it. Actually, what was the first CD you bought? Dookie. Ooh, Green Day. A Lannis Jagged Little Pill, I think, for me. Wait, I think I might have gotten Dookie as well. Jagged Little Pill and Nirvana's Live in New Live, what is it? Live? Live in New York? Live Unplugged in New Unplugged in New York? Uh, I got all of those at the same time. Dookie and then Offspring. Ooh, Offspring Smash? Yes. Yes. Yeah, that makes sense. Because they came out in 94. Yep. Yeah. Uh, Clinton says, wow, mine was Dookie too, with the green jewel case and Ernie on the back. Oh, green jewel case. Wow. I didn't yeah, get that I one. I had that. I just had the normal one. John says, mine was Riot by Par Paramore. Oh, interesting. First CD I bought with my own money. Awesome. Osborona says, my first eight track tape was an Elvis one back in 90. Oh my God. That doesn't say 97. That says 77. Wow. Okay. Um, my first tape was New Kids on the Block. <laughs> I don't know if I can remember that far, but I want to say it was uh, Bon Jovi. Yeah, that makes sense. For me. Yeah, I was a sucker for pop music. Ooh, boy. But I think it was just because I hadn't really discovered anything else yet. Like, there wasn't anybody to, like, gate me, yeah. you know? Mm -hmm. But anyway. Asha says, what was it like playing Ozfest as kids? I mean, I remember Blitz. Borderline? No, not Borderline. Completely illegal. <laughs> There were things that I, I realized now that I saw, not necessarily on OzFest, but just like other tour things, that if I were the parents of like 15 or 14 year olds, I would be horrified. Yes. Absolutely horrified and like, to well then again, I, I don't know, my approach would have been more like helicoptery, I think. Yeah, like, I am a helicopter cat parent. Yeah, so I don't I remember, even want to know what I would be like with an actual human child. Just poor thing. My dad, I my dad told me that um, one of the shows that he came to see, I think in New York, uh, we, we were playing with System of a Down, and he was just like, I came into the dressing room, there was a pile of weed on the table. I'm like, yeah, dad. That's the tip of the iceberg. Helicopter is like something that hovers. Yeah. The hover. Like, it, in saying that we would likely not let our kids go on tour is what. Oh, no. I, I would go with them, mm, no. probably. Mm, no, no. I would never. Yeah. Absolutely not. Yeah. So, but I, I don't know. It was just maybe part of. Because I asked my parents recently, I said, yeah, like, what. I mean, aside from, aside from the fact that our manager was one of our friend's dads, so it was, you know, safer or whatever, but, like, what made you comfortable being, like, you know, go off and whatever, whereas before that, my parents wouldn't let me sleep over at people's houses, ever, ever, until I was, like, until I was 14. Like, I wasn't allowed. So... Um, my, my uh, experience with that was that I would have done it anyway. Like if my parents had said no, I would have just been like, fine, fuck you then. Oh. oh okay. Yeah, I was that kind of kid. Okay, right. Yeah, that, that, that checks out. <laughs> <laughs> During Oscar's years, wasn't that the time of your Limp Bizkit fascination? No. My Limp Bizkit fascination was ended actually before then. Um, my, like, I really only liked $3 Bill Y'all, the one album. And then there was the one time that I dressed up as Fred Durst for Halloween, and that was it. Like, he became more of, like, a, a what we would characterize now as, like, memeable. Um, joke. He was a joke. Like, Limp Bizkit at the time was just, like, a joke to us, and we thought it was really funny. But at one time, I, I really did like their album. But I had a couple of friends who really, really liked them for some reason. We were like, what? Uh, do I miss having red hair? I miss having colored hair, sure. But maybe not red. I don't know. People, I get so many comments from people who are like, you should dye your hair red again. I'm like, that maintenance is like, no. You don't realize how much, the, I mean, <laughs> I don't have the money to do that right now. I don't have the patience. And the patience, yeah. Dante says, did you ever meet anyone on tour that you ended up regretting? Yes. Uh, Harley says, do you remember what brand of red you used? Manic Panic. Fire Engine Red, I think was the first one. But then what you guys know as my red hair was a salon color. I can't remember the brand, but it was a salon color that she custom made for me. Of you and as Fred Durst, I do have pictures of that, John. I'll post it in the Discord. 
it's really bad. Like I, I took like a Sharpie and like put the the <laughs> nasty goatee and I was wearing like the tattoos and the stupid hat and stuff. It was really funny. Band wise, you mean? Oh yeah. I've made no bones about the fact that I don't like Mudvayne. <laughs> no, I mean, the other guys are fine. The singer, I'm not, not, not a big fan. I've told you guys ba that Bands that you didn't like? Yeah. Oh man, I can't remember. I liked touring with them though. It was fine, but just don't like the singer. He was yeah, no, that's not, fair. Not nice. I, I didn't, I didn't, I don't know if I knew that then or, but I don't remember what I knew then and what I didn't. I remember also POD being really mean to me. Mm. Yes. I re recall that they were like, I th were they the ones that were really against us being yes, young there. women on tour yeah. and they thought it was really, um, yes, they thought it was really bad, bad. I mean, in a lot of ways it was, so. <laughs> but I mean, they were thinking they were about, about it, it from a very like. Yeah. Uh, yes. Yeah. It was a, like a misogynistic, yeah. misogynistic thing. It was, and they made that, what was worse was that they made it really clear, like yeah. to us, which was, I was like, we're literally children. You realize yeah, like, that, what right? are we going to do about this? Yeah. But, like, at that time, you know, whatever. But okay. Thanks for that. Yeah. I don't know. I just remember them just being really rude and it can't be, it can't be like, oh, they were having a bad day. Like, no, it was, it, <laughs> it was like, it was time. to each of us yeah. and it was like directed and like specific, specific. like not yeah. like. If you were like having dinner with somebody, they would like make a point to tell you that they did not like what you were doing. Yeah. Or they would completely ignore. I remember there are many times like sitting there and being like, wow, I'm like fucking invisible right now. Great. Thank you. Yeah. It was really rude. Yeah. How many bad experiences did you have touring with other bands? Which bands are the coolest? Bad experiences? I would say, and I, I've talked about this on stream before, some places in Germany were not very, uh, very nice to us. Um, that I just remember like playing these this like f fairly good sized club opening for Slipknot and then like everybody in the first four rows had their backs turned to us. Bands were the coolest. I've always maintained that Slipknot was the coolest, I think. Yeah. Yeah. I don't think you can really yeah. top that. Yeah. Like I don't ever really remember any like bad experiences on that on those tours no. ever. Like it was mm -mm. just they were all super chill. They were really nice to us. Like, mm. did you guys have to hang out with Papa Ozzy? No, but we did do that photo shoot with yeah, them. Yeah, like we saw him. Yeah. I'm still sad about Joey too. Yeah, that whole situation. And Paul. Just, yeah. Like they were the really the only ones that I think is maybe because they were the youngest. I don't know. I, I don't yeah. know if that has anything to do with it, but they were the really the ones that stuck out the most in terms of like reaching out to us and being like friendly. Like Paul was, I talked to him we had each yeah. other's phone numbers like i could text him mm -hmm. same with joey although i didn't really do that all that much but yeah so that that hit extra hard i'm like oh my god that's yeah it was a rough time that was a rough time so thank you guys for coming out hanging out drinking some tea spilling some tea and yeah have a great rest of your evening week whatnot and we'll see you soon Anna. bye